Petrus Petitus de Amazonibus Dissertatio, Episode 8. Ugar anima mononagenonta, lagos de peri auton udes huperxen, al la protoron ta erga et hutos a lagos. Ha peri auton, hasa de ede kai morphai esi legomenai, kai genomenai tate, ha nun uk esi, ta toyauta uk agenata. Id est hominum namque alii, et ii maxime, qui ab omni sapientia, atque erdru ditione alieni sunt, omnibus illis quae utique decantur, persuasi fidem ad hibere, consue verunt, quidam vero natura prudenti ordres et magis curiosi, omnia ille quae fieri perhibentur, ut penitus credant ad duci nequeunt. Again, Petrus Petitus is quoting from the 5th century Greek, the Byzantine scholar Polyphatus from Byzantium, from his work De Incredibilibus, on things that are unbelievable. And he includes here for us the translation of Cornelius Tullius. This is a Latin work of the 17th century, 1686, in fact. Now, if you are following this series closely, you will understand that the Latin which is given here from Tullius is actually a translation of the Greek which occurs before this portion. Thus, this Greek here is not corresponding to this Latin, but corresponds instead to the Latin which comes after. Confusing enough? So I will just point out a few items from both the Greek and Latin, and we'll call it good. This ligature here is peri, the preposition which means about or concerning, and it takes a genitive here, au tone. This is udes. This little symbol, like so, is the symbol for u, and we can see it in a number of different places. Udes, udes, like so. Here is another peri ligature, like this. Peri with the genitive, au tone. And this symbol, which we see in two places, is de, the particle, de, which has no true parallel in Latin. Here is another u for uc, and again uc, and perhaps the reader can recognize if they've studied Greek chi here and chi here, the very common conjunction and adverb, which is roughly the equivalent of the Greek, of the Latin et. Here is, in this one, proteron, so this ligature here, which looks about like this, is actually p rho, like so. This verb here is hu perxen, hu perxen, with an interesting ligature at the beginning. This is from the verb hoop arco, and is one of the three ways in Greek to express existence or being. The other two are the familiar emi, sum, which is present in this text here in ac, ac, and gignomai, which is also present in this text. Gignomai, we can see it here again nanta, and here again nata in the singular. So all three ways in Greek are ways to express being, and they each have a slightly different connotation. The koine form is ginomai, the gamma has dropped out. Otherwise, these verbs are very similar in Attic and Koine. A couple notes on the Latin. Of men, in fact, there are some, and those especially who, qui, who, alieni, are quite removed, and this takes an ablative of separation, ab omni sapienti atque eruditione, who are quite removed from all wisdom and learning. These persons, persuasi, when they are persuaded, the consuewe runt fidem adhibera, they habitually lend credence, adhibera fidem, to all those things, omnibus illis, quae utique de contour, which are said particularly or especially. But certain other persons, natura, ablative by nature more wise, and magis curiosi, more careful and attentive, all those things, omni illa quae fieri perhibentur, which are alleged, 
to have happened, or alleged to happen, fire perhaben tour, they are not able, neque unt aduki, to be led, such persons cannot be led, to grant them full credence, that is, to believe them completely or utterly.